Last night, we had an exclusive look inside the Church of Scientology and its plans to expand in Australia. Well, tonight, the Church's top spin doctor comes out swinging against Senator Nick Xenophon, the man leading the calls for an inquiry into the practices of the religion. Here's Brian Seymour with more from Scientology's power base in Los Angeles. Yeah, I understand that you're an advocate for the senator. And the, I'm not an advocate for the senator. You forwarded his bigoted no, no, witch hunting. You've got that totally wrong, and that's, You know what? And that's the position that you take. And you know what? That's, you that's that totally right. wrong. Did you, you say that, that right? Did you say that to get it on camera, to use it against me? Because that's totally untrue what you just said. It's not just what's occurred in Australia. It's what's been happening in the US, in France, in Germany, in Greece, in Russia, all around the world. People are waking up to their practices and the damage they can cause individuals. Okay. Yes, that's Australia's Senator Xenophon getting a name for himself in Hollywood. It is a criminal organisation that hides behind its so-called religious beliefs. Are you appalled by what he did? Utterly. It was completely irresponsible and I think it was a complete abuse of parliamentary privilege and a complete abuse of his position as, an, as, as a politician and that he essentially used parliamentary privilege to stand on the Senate floor and call for a witch hunt. Scientology is not a religious organisation. It's been four months since Senator Nick Xenophon tabled the awful stories of these ex-believers in Scientology. These victims of Scientology claim it is an abusive, manipulative, violent and criminal organisation and that criminality is condoned at the highest levels. Lies or alterations or you know obfuscations about what the truth was and, and, and you know sort of altering things to make it seem make something perfectly normal seem abnormal or, or change the truth or shift it or obscure what the actual truth of it is. I'd say so yeah. Tommy Davis is Scientology's global spokesman. He's taking aim at Senator Xenophon and all of the ex-members criticising Scientology and, yes, me and this show. You, didn't, you just said you know I'm an advocate for Senator Xenophon. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Um, because you keep bringing up the statements that he's making. And, so and does the, the Fairfax Press, News Limited, Channel 9, the ABC. Yeah. Um, well, I would say the same thing. Are they all advocates for Senator Xenophon? I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to meet with them and talk to them. I find that sort of comment pretty laughable. This is a classic case of shoot the messenger. It's almost a religion. It is only a religion. It isn't a business. It never has been and never would be. That's what Tommy says this as we stand in the middle of Bridge Publications, where they pump out up to a million CDs, books and packages, shipped and sold around the world each week for who knows how much money. Scientology won't say. When you consider the claims that have been made, the damage to individuals, uh, and the fact that Australian taxpayers are in effect subsidising the operations of this organisation here in Australia, I think it's very much in the public interest that we focus uh, on these very serious allegations. He expects to call for a vote on an inquiry as soon as next month. Scientology says it's not worried. According to Tommy Davis, Scientology has grown more in the past year than in the previous five years. Apparently the figures to prove that are in a building just down the road here in Hollywood, but. Tommy hasn't shown us. The protest group Anonymous claims that Scientology's numbers are falling. And in Australia, we've met dozens of ex-members who say hundreds have left and hundreds more will flee this group. These workers at the publishing facility belong to Scientology's elite unit called the Sea Org. They're actually on the books as volunteers. The church provides food and accommodation they put in long hours and get about $50 a week. Former Sea Org members portray it as a prison camp right with deprivation and terror. And above all, this is about the victims having their say. And of course, in a Senate inquiry, the Church of Scientology can have their say as well. But it's inevitable, I believe, that we will have a Senate inquiry into these practices because it's very much in the public interest to do so. I think the truth of the allegations that he made will come out and the truth of, uh, of, of, of what Scientology is and, and our rights as a religion in Australia is protected by the Australian Constitution. Um, when all of that comes out, um, you know, he'll have to be his own, his own judge and he'll be judged by his peers and he'll be judged by his constituents. A bit like Scientology being judged by its former constituents. More are coming forward. Other media are now telling their stories. Soon, I'll be just one of many Tommy Davis will deal with. How, how do you reckon we'd all go if the elevator stopped? We were trapped here for a, two days in the elevator. How do you reckon we'd... I think we'd... I think we'd... I think, I think we'd, we'd be, be okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How do you reckon we'd be... I think we'd be all right. 
That's Brian Seymour exploring the world of Scientology and...